Good morning, Cyber Traders. Sorry, I had to start a little late, but that was a great song that was on there. Need more cowbell. Love the cowbell. You know what? I'm feeling a little bit better today. Uh, we're only down 260 points. So uh, I'll tell you, it's been really, really stressful out there. Really stressful. But, uh, but we're back, and uh, there's no better place than being in the cyber group room, right? Yeah, at least you have an excuse. You have to stay home. So anyway, um, before we get started, guys, just let you know we got a couple of events that are coming up. Don't forget today we have open house at 12 o'clock. So uh, feel free to take some time off and come and join us and listen and talk about, you know, what's going on with the markets, talk about the coronavirus, some stocks that we trade in. Hopefully uh, we'll get some new people that uh, want to know more about it. We'll tell them about what we do here. And then we also got the big uh, online trading summit with the Metastock on Saturday. Now, regarding about what's going on in the market, um, listen, you know, I, I've been, I, I haven't gotten too much sleep. I really haven't. You know, I'm always uh, looking what's going on in, on the news, see what the, what, the, what the analyst is saying, see what the government's doing. And, um, you know, a couple of people came out with some pretty good stuff that I do agree with. Some of them just like, just anti, you know, they're just people out there just shorting the market. And, you know, uh, Ming, uh, uh, private message me earlier and he said that Europe has already banned short selling and now the US uh, uh, is, might be doing it on Monday. I actually brought that up, Ming, about a couple of days ago. I said they should ban shorting. You know what I mean? And, and, and I, I, mean, I know that, you know, Ken flipped out. He goes, please don't stop that. Don't do that. I mean, that sometimes you're going to have to. So and, and I'll tell you the truth. There's some stocks that I even just tried to short yesterday and it just there was no shorts out there. So but I think they're going to probably get rid of the shorting entirely. But uh, regarding about the U.S. economy, and listen, like I told you, I got so many people that are friends of mine that are calling me up and asking me, well, what's going on? Do I, do I get in now? Do I get... All I could tell everybody this, we're going to have the biggest rally, and it's not going to be no later than October, okay? The biggest rally in the history of, of the stock market and people are going to kick themselves in the butt and wish they should have got certain stocks now when it comes to it. Listen, if you love, you know, Boeing at 400, you got to be drooling here in 90. You know, listen, I still have it at 170 and I'm considering averaging down to buy more. I, I just love the company. I mean, there, there are companies out there that are just ridiculous. Um, Bonnie says, I hope before October. Listen, it, it, let me tell you the big difference. And for some of you, we're not here during the financial crisis, okay? This is not the financial crisis, okay? The financial crisis took years to come back, okay? When this stupid, this is just a war. When we fight this virus, everybody's going to go back to normal, you know what I mean? And hopefully it's sooner or later and people don't get too hurt. But the, I, I, I am going to predict, you heard about the government's going to probably come out with a, new, a trillion dollar plan. Honestly, you're going to need, probably three trillion, and they got the money to do it. And it's gonna happen. Trust me, it's gonna happen. They will not let this beat us. You know, we're, we're, the, you know, we're the strongest company. We're very strong and, you know, US economy, thank God, you know, our financial uh, markets and we were having, you know, like I told you, if it wasn't for the financial crisis, I mean, um, if it wasn't for this virus, we'd probably be at 32, 35,000 on the Dow right now, okay? So, you know, there are things that are going to really, really take off, and we're going to kill it. Uh, we're going to do well. Now, a couple of things I do want to point out and, and warn everyone about certain things. Uh, first of all, we're looking at Blue Apron right here, okay? We killed it yesterday with Blue Apron, okay? Um, Blue Apron went from $3 to $25. i am getting people calling me up. They're like, why don't you tell me that sooner? Well, listen, you know what? If you went on my if you if you if you subscribe to my Instagram, you know now I'm posting everything on Instagram, my morning watch list. You know for some people that are out there. So if you're not in here in the morning, at least any of you guys uh, use Instagram. Anybody out there on Instagram have it? You guys subscribe to um, subscribe to us. Nope, nope. I know it's like a younger generation, right? <laughs> a lot of people are like uh, it's uh, cyber trading you. Cyber Trading University. Just look up our name. I think that's what it is, right? I don't know. My, like I said, all these kids do for us. But oops, looking at it right now. Yeah, just go to Cyber Trading University and you'll find us. 
Uh, you could also, yeah, Cybertrain University, or you can look up my name. Now, regarding about a couple of things I want to point out. First of all, most important, all right, Blue Apron. How does a stock go from three to 25 in three days? Uh, Twitter, my Twitter feed is Cybertrading You. Cyber trading you. Just put it in there. Uh, well, you know what? If you go on our homepage or website, you can click on all of them. But um, but panic. Listen, this is a short squeeze. No if and or about it. You've seen it. We've done it before. And and guess what? A lot of people don't. They think it's a screaming buy. You know, this is a short squeeze, and this stock is going to crash. Big time, all right? So if you made money on it, congratulations. You know what? Don't cro go back and look at it and be like, oh, it's going to go with it. Listen, I, I was talking to one of the students yesterday, and he says, Fausto, you know, uh, I got into the stock. I, you know, I, I wish I had it. I made like 1500 in it. It went to, I had it at t uh, 12, and it went to like 14. I wish I still had it. You're, this is what we do here. You know what? If we if we knew it was gonna go to twenty five, I don't think anyone would be here. We'd probably be sicking, uh, 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 sipping on some pina coladas in some Caribbean island right now. That's this is. It's not about where it went. It's what did you make money on it? That's what it's all about. So that's the things that you got to do. Be very very careful. Don't look at. Be careful with this stock. It is extremely volatile. Look at the spread. It is very very big, and you know just got to be very you know very alert when it comes to it. But there are a lot of other stocks that are moving. Now, regarding about the market, we're only down 180 points. So um, just to give everybody a little heads up, my, my, uh, my uh, you know, uh, experience, we need at least about two to three positive days until we can really say we kind of hit the bottom a little bit because what's going to happen is there are some real jerks out there, some real, you know, A's out there, that are short in this market and and they're killing it, you know. I don't know, maybe guys like George Soros, probably. You know what I mean? There are people killing it, and they're gonna get squeezed. Okay, they're gonna get squeezed. And if they get rid of this short squeeze rule, that's really gonna screw them up big time. All right. So you know, unfortunately, you know, there there are people that uh, uh, benefit from from things like this, and they'll do whatever they can to profit from it unfortunately that's what people are like that's what people do and uh you know what if you if you've been around long enough the you know <laughs> especially if you saw what happened to financial crisis you know a lot of people did not appreciate what they did back then but as traders i mean listen we we had to go long we bought those stocks we ended up buying them cheap but um you know as long as people don't start freaking out and starting hitting the sell button We'll be okay, you know. So listen, I think we're going to come roaring back big time, and I think, and I know you think sooner than later, but I think you see a huge, huge bounce back. Uh, people are going to go back spending money. People do great. Just you know, just trying to pick the bottom is very, very difficult. Now, Ben, regarding about uh, those other, I want to talk about those stocks too, Nugget and everything else, and, and so on. But uh, there are a couple of stocks that are moving this morning. We got to keep an eye on. You could see here's a, let's go through the watch list really quick. So we got this one stock, uh, B U R G. That one is gapped up pretty nicely, up eighty seven percent. It was a forty cent stock, went to a dollar, had a nice push yesterday. It gapped up higher this morning. Uh, we know about Blue Apron, W T R F H. I'm sorry, ah, in the wrong window. Here we go. This one is also uh, going up pretty nicely. It's kind of funny, but it's kind of holding here pretty strong. I, I, I didn't know what the hell this company did. I had to go check the news just out of curiosity. like Because um, this is a stock that we traded yesterday, and it was stuck around $2 trading some crazy shares. And it was probably, a, you know, I was thinking about holding it overnight because it was pretty cheap, seeing what was going. Apparently, they're doing, they're doing a deal with all the restaurants about, home, about delivery, you know, uh, free delivery and stuff like that. And this stock, and this company, obviously has a lot to do with it. So, uh, but once again, I, you know, be very careful with these stocks, guys. You know, listen, 
We made a lot of money with the pharmaceutical stocks about the coronavirus. Now that thing is those that ship has gone and sailed. Now it's about the after effect. Now who's benefiting being in this situation? So we found Blue Apron. We found the waiters. Uh, we found uh, the uh, virtual doctors. You know all that stuff. BJ's, BJ's, BJ's. What did I tell you f uh, four days ago? BJ's, right? Get too excited. Look what happened to BJ's. $20 stock went to 30 Did you guys go shopping, you know, and, and stock up your fridge or whatever it is? You couldn't even get any of these stores. They're gonna, they're gonna, these, this is like Home Depot back in Hurricane Sandy, you know? Um, this is Home Depot right here. You know, they killed it, you know, an effect like that. So if, if, if that still goes on, these companies like this and Costco and are going to be doing great. So uh, <laughs> another, another, another big winner, and they're going to be filled with cash. What else that we got on this list? IFMK is another one that's also making a nice little pop right there. iFresh. I guess you could figure it out. Anything that has to do with food. You know, um, I'm, pr I'm pretty good. I, I have a, a lot of friends of mine that are in the food business. Uh, one of them, which you probably heard of, you ever heard of uh, Rienzi Pasta? He's a, he's a neighbor of mine, a good friend of mine. Rienzi, you know, it's like uh, the pasta you see in the store. So he said that, I, I, I was just talking to uh, my, my uh, brother, just spoke to him just uh, yesterday, and could not even get him on the phone. He said that he said they're doing like double and triple business right now regarding uh, all their – uh, their the food business. The food business is killing it right now. Anybody that's in the food business, the public business, they, they're just killing it. I mean, you know, all of them. Uh, Costco put out a comment that they are hiring. <laughs> I think, and you know what? They pay good too, by the way. You know, they pay really, really well. That, that's a good sign. Now, a um, couple other stocks out there. Uh, unfortunately, you know, regarding about... Uh, so, for certain food stocks, a lot of them are conglomerates. They're part of a conglomerate. Um, and like all these little products that you're looking at, other than Clorox, but, uh, you know, all these bread companies, they're all part of a big conglomerate. I mean, the biggest one out there is Nestle's. You know, they're, they're a trillion-dollar company. Uh, they actually bought my brother's company out, uh, Skinny Cow Ice Cream. You know, so... Not very nice people there, but they must be killing it themselves. What? What is it? It's a, it's a problem. Nestle's does not even trade here in the U.S. Uh, it trades overseas. Uh, that stock, I mean, is doing probably going to do incredible too. Uh, so what do we got? So we got that one. The oh, what the hell's going on with JNUG? Holy crap! That was a nice little pop right there. I mean, we talked about it. I said it earlier. JNUG. I mean, the stock was a hundred dollars. Never seen these prices before in history. I was trying to go back. As far as I could, the stock was a twenty thousand dollars stock at one point, but it's been hovering here at a hundred forever. You know, it's been covering sixty hundred, sixty hundred. I know we have our, our gold guy there. You know, uh, Grant Brockway. You, you probably know better than me, but this is just like unheard of. Uh, John, it's all over the place, but going in at four twenty five right now. Okay, so there's Grant already putting his co his comments in regarding my J Nug. You know, here there's our gold guy. But all of them, they're just literally, I mean, it's unbelievable. Nug uh, nuggets, the same thing. So anyway, I mean, these things got decimated, totally decimated. By the way, I don't know if you guys saw my comment earlier. Gas got sold out in Kentucky. It was for sale for 99 cents. I think I, I haven't seen that since high school, okay? And I had to drive like uh, 20 miles to buy it, you know, with my uh, car that got like 10 miles a gallon. But... <laughs> It's uh, it's coming. It's coming. You know, gas is going to be cheap. Listen, just kind of tell you, you know, about, you know, just listen to Mnuchin on TV before we got on. And you know what? <laughs> you know, people want to play with fire. And, you know, and we know what happened with oil regarding with the Russians about uh, lowering production. You know, he, he, he said a smart thing. And I'll tell you, and I think that's going to make oil jump. He says, you know what? They're going to put our oil companies out of business. That's fine. They're going to run. Out of Let's just buy all their oil. And we'll fill up our reserves for the next 10 years. And I said, damn, that's a pretty smart idea. You know what I mean? Like, he's like, think about it. If you make something and it's cost too expensive and someone's willing to sell it cheaper for the same thing, they're like, you know what? Let's just buy theirs. They want to be, be that dumb. Okay, we'll just use up all their reserves and we'll fill up ours 
for free. You know what I mean? If it costs us thirty, we could buy theirs for twenty. <laughs> you know, for for us to to make it costs us thirty thirty five. Why even make it? Let's just buy theirs. So I thought that was a I thought that was a great idea. Then it's, so they're actually going to bring that proposal to take twenty billion dollars and buy oil for the next twenty years for us, and uh, maybe just sell it to us really cheap, right? Wouldn't that be great? And you know what? If oil goes back up, the government's going to make a lot of money. So they're going to be in the business in the oil business. And I'm like, you know what? We own it for 20 bucks. Let's just sell it to the general public, you know, and uh, they're gonna, they'll, they'll make a fortune on it. So anyway, I thought that was a great idea. Let me tell you, um, there's some pretty smart people out there. Don't screw around. Fill every tanker on the ocean for, uh, and, and store it, John's saying. You know what? I, I mean, think about it. If you could, if you could buy something that cheap, right? Why would you not? Why would you not? Right? I mean, I, I just filled up my oil tank. I feel like a jerk. I wish I didn't fill it up. I thought I was getting a good deal when oil was at thirty-five. Now it's at twenty. You know, uh, it just if you can, if you can do it, do it. You know what I mean? I mean, how much lower could it go? So anyway, let's go. So you got the watch list. We got a, we got Apron. We got WT on uh, TRF. We got IFM at K. What's the market doing? Oh, we're dead back down to 250. I'm feeling a little bit better. It's not like we're down like a thousand, a thousand, a thousand. But um, but anyway, market's gonna open up less than five minutes. I thought um l- listen, scalp, scalp, and scalp. Okay. Do not, I mean, there's some great opportunities out there. If you love a company and you really, really wish you could have bought it a long time ago, I mean, listen, these stocks are at some historic you know, lows. I was looking at some of these stocks. I'm like, for crying out loud, they haven't been this low since 2000. They lost everything in two weeks. What do you think is going to happen? I, I, I predict you're going to see mergers. You're going to see hostile takeovers. You, listen, AOL, uh, AOL, Apple is sitting on $200 billion. When they, when they pass the, uh, the, new, the, the new corporate uh, tax law to, for all the corporations bring their cash back here to the U.S., and they were not going to charge him for it. What do you think? That, let me tell you. What do you think they're going to do? There is even a rumor going around that Apple might hostily take over Disney. You know what I mean? At these prices. So they're sitting in a lot of cash. So just keep your eyes open um, for that. And look for, and, and look for buybacks. Because uh, I think that's going to uh, happen. Let me tell you. We're going to get through this faster than you could even imagine. Um, all right, guys. So uh, And one last thing. Uh, we, we got a new family member to the team. Uh, John McGuire just uh, is now going to be a new student. You know, we always like to make an, a big announcement. We always like to let everybody know. You know, we're very selective who who we let who we let as a, as a, a trader in the room and who we don't want. If we have let everyone in, I would have a thousand traders in here. But uh, let's give John a big round of applause and let's welcome him to the family. Oh, there we go. <laughs> All right. All right, guys, so good luck, and uh, don't forget, you got class today. I know we had a little problem with, uh, with the portal page. Listen, everyone's working remote for the safety of my staff, so uh, just want to be able to make sure, you know, we're, we're, we're on it, all right? So you got our IT guys on top of it, so we'll try to get that up and hopefully have it up sooner than later. All right, in the meantime, enjoy class and uh, see something, say something, guys, and we'll see you back at 12. See you in class, and then don't forget uh, to register for the Metastock uh, we- weekend uh, event. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading. We'll start commentating in about five minutes once the market opens up.